Africa is a continent, his capital is Al-Ahli. The first club in Africa with 22 continental trophies, 15 of them were achieved within the current century, making Al-Ahli the most crowned club worldwide with continental trophies, meaning a new international record for Al-Ahli, the pride of Africa. I'm Yumna Atwa and you are watching Al-Ahli Online TV English News, getting you an in-depth view of Al-Ahli for this week. So let's start with the headlines. Al-Ahli win CAF Super Cup title. Al-Ahli closed the gap with Real Madrid to four titles. Musimani, we deserve the CAF Super Cup title. A class act from Al-Ahli players after the game. Abdul Hafiz provides details for Al-Ahli's upcoming trip. The Masters are the champions. Al-Ahli achieved a 2-0 win over RS Burkane of Morocco at Jassim bin Hamad Stadium in Doha to win the 7th CAF Super Cup title in history, extending our supremacy in the competition. Two second-half goals from Muhammad Sharif and Salah Mohsin were enough for the Red Eagles to secure the prestigious title. Al-Ahli players were clinical in the second half of the game and had the upper hand to win the trophy for the seventh time in the club's history completing a fantastic quadruple in the 2019-2020 season and we still have the Egyptian Super Cup to play to achieve the fifth trophy of the campaign. Al-Ahli closed the gap with Real Madrid to four titles. Al-Ahli players secured the CAF Super Cup title on Friday with a victory over RS Bekane of Morocco and Doha. This victory handed us our 2020 Continental Trophies, allowing us to close the gap with Real Madrid to four titles. The Red Eagles took a step towards regaining the status as the club with the most Continental titles, which Real Madrid overtook in the recent years. Betsy Musumani Al Ahli's head coach spoke after our victory over RS Bukane of Morocco on Friday, saying, We are a big team and our fans always demand the maximum from our players. They wanted the CAF Super Cup title and then after the game, they demanded the CAF Champions League trophy. The fans' dream have no end and I will do my best to make them happy. Al-Ahli's football first team players dedicated the medals to Mahmoud Al-Khatib, Al-Ahli's president and head of Al-Ahli's delegation to Qatar. Following the end of our CAF Super Cup encounter, the players received the medals and then placed it around Al-Khatib's neck in an act of respect from the players to Al-Khatib, who gave the medals back to them. Abdul Hafiz provides details for Al-Ahli's upcoming trip. Sayyid Abdul Hafiz, the club's director of football, revealed that Al Ahli's football first team will travel to Tunisia on 14 or 15 May, based on the decision of our coaching staff. Abdul Hafiz began preparing for the team's trip to Tunisia, where Al Ahli will be facing Esperance of Tunisia in the first leg of the CAF Champions League semis. Al Ahli men's volleyball team were crowned champions of the Egyptian league for the fourth time and the 33 time in the club's history after defeating Zamalek 3 0 on Wednesday. Al Muqawilun Al Arab Hall witnessed a strong performance from the Masters, who had the upper hand in the encounter. Thanks for watching Al Ahli Online TV English News. From Al Ahli Wiya Salam Stadium, I'm Yumna Atwa. See you next week.